Hi, my name is Terry, and today we are going to explore parallel, oblique, and perpendicular lines in math and in music. So let's get started with these two lines at the top of our screen. These lines are parallel. That means that they're moving in the same direction while maintaining the same distance apart from each other. No matter how I turn these lines, they stay parallel. They are still moving in the same direction while staying the same distance apart. If these lines kept on going and going, they would never connect since they maintain the same distance apart from each other. We can find parallel lines here on these train tracks. Each of the train tracks go in the same direction and maintain the same distance apart. Now let's hear parallel lines in music. Today, I'm going to use the harmonies from Handel's Passacaglia and G minor to demonstrate the different types of lines. Here are two melody lines. Both melody lines move up together in the same direction. Whether they move up or down, they move in the same direction and maintain similar distance from each other. Let's listen to parallel motion in two melody lines. Our next type of lines are oblique. They start at the same point and then gradually move farther and farther apart from each other. We can see oblique lines in the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. See how the oblique lines are moving away from each other? Let's listen to oblique motion in two melody lines. In music, oblique motion is very specific, with one melody line staying put and not moving up or down away from its note. The second melody line gradually moves away, up or down, from the stationary notes. Let's listen to oblique motion in two melody lines. Our third type of lines are perpendicular. Perpendicular lines also move away from each other, but they maintain a right angle. So what's a right angle? Well, the best way to learn about right angles is with a square. A square has many right angles. Look at the top corner of the square where these two lines meet. One is moving straight across and another is moving straight down. The space between these two lines create an angle. These two intersecting straight lines create an angle called a right angle. So how many right angles are in this square? You can pause the video to take a moment to think. So I'm sure you found four right angles. The first right angle on the top left of the square, another on the top right of the square, our third right angle was at the bottom left and the fourth on the bottom right. Four right angles. Let's take the bottom left angle of the square shown with these two intersecting lines. When two lines are at a right angle, they are called perpendicular. These lines move apart from each other while maintaining that right angle. We can use our square to check to make sure that these lines are perpendicular. Here are some building blocks. Let's look for some perpendicular lines. Two lines that move away from each other while maintaining a right angle. I found two perpendicular lines here. Let's put the corner of the square in place to check and make sure it's at a right angle. Can you find other perpendicular lines? You can pause the video to take a moment to think. I found another two perpendicular lines over here. And just to check if they are at a right angle, I will place the corner of my square to see if it fits. Let's hear 
perpendicular motion in music. Now we don't use the term perpendicular in music. When two lines are moving in opposite directions, we call it contrary motion. One melody moving up and another moving down. That's contrary motion. To make our contrary motion perpendicular, we need to make sure that the two melody lines move away from each other at a right angle. We can place the square at the point where the two melody lines meet to make sure they move apart at a right angle. Let's listen. I would like you to head over to YouTube and listen to the original Handel's Passacaglia in G minor. And while you're there, I would also like you to search for this YouTube video to hear a piece by Mozart that is accompanied by a graphical score that shows you the lines of the music moving in parallel, oblique, and perpendicular motion. Thanks for watching.